Extensive sheep and cattle rearing is one of the traditional activities permitted within the park. The ecological damage it causes is minimal and more than compensated by certain advantages for the wildlife of the area. In return for the grass they eat, the cattle or sheep leave a very valuable gift of their dead. Every time a sheep dies in Monfragüe, a complex system goes into action in order to dispose of the body. The first to arrive are the jackdaws and the crows, the largest corvines in Spain. They can be found throughout the length and breadth of the Iberian Peninsula thanks to their ability to live alongside humans and the fact they will eat virtually anything from seeds to dead bodies. The Egyptian vulture, the smallest but most rapacious of all the scavengers of Monfragüe, has also seen a sheep and immediately swoops down to devour it. Both the Egyptian vulture and the corvines will have to hurry because they cannot possibly compete against the dominant scavengers in the park, the griffin vultures. The Egyptian vultures have better eyesight and spot the body first, but as they fly down they are seen by the griffin vultures. One griffin vulture sees them and starts flying around in circles above the spot to alert others. Very quickly more arrive and soon the sky is full of scavengers. So many vultures flying around in circles can mean just one thing, and spurred on by hunger, this fox decides to take advantage. Despite their size and strength, the vultures would not dare confront this competitor, and the fox can enjoy his banquet in peace. Meanwhile, up in the sky, dozens of eyes watch and wait impatiently until he has eaten his fill and their turn comes. Finally, the fox moves off and the vultures descend on the body. In just a few minutes, it's covered by dozens of famished beaks. Hunger and aggression will determine who gets to eat. As a vulture satisfies its hunger, it does not defend its place so ferociously and is ousted by another who has not yet eaten. Yet another species of vulture can also be found in Monfragüe, the black vulture, the largest bird of prey in the Iberian Peninsula, and very rare. The park has proven to be an ideal habitat and numbers have risen. Monfragüe is now home to the largest colony of these birds in the world, with over 250 pairs officially counted. While the different species of vulture fight over the body, one of the most primitive mammals in the park, the hedgehog, scrambles around the forest floor looking for insects, which form the basis of its diet. Little does he suspect the fox has picked up his scent and is after him. The hedgehog is hardly a fast mover and the chase is quickly over. When he sees his enemy approaching, the hedgehog rolls himself up into a ball. According to folklore, the fox should now urinate over him to force him to stretch out and let down his defenses. But traditional wisdom is not always right. In reality, only the eagle and the eagle owl know how to get through this primitive but very effective system of defense. After sniffing at the hedgehog for a while, the fox soon gets tired and heads off, looking for other victims. The hedgehog unfurls and makes a run for it.
Meanwhile, the black vultures have also found the dead body. They are less gregarious than other vultures and are normally to be found alone or in small groups. Each one searches for its own food, so it's normal that only one or two have been drawn here. Numbers of black vultures in Monfragüe have gone up from 70 pairs in 1979 when the park was created to over 250 now. This is just one example of how important the decision was to protect this oasis of Mediterranean life. The powerful beak of the black vulture allows him to eat even the toughest parts of the animal. As he rips off the skin, he opens the way for the griffin vultures, who plunge their long, featherless necks inside the sheep to get at the intestines. <laughs> 